Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miyuki Skumar from KumarLab.com. Today in this video, I'm going to show you the everything that you will require to make the VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP is an Excel function that is required to look up and retrieve the data from the specific column of the table. So, if you use this function in the right and proper place, then you are gonna save lots of time. And eventually you are the smarter person rest of the other normal Excel users okay uh, you'll require the four pieces of information to make the lookup function uh, in the number one the lookup value this is the value which you want to compare and retrieve the data in the number two the range of table or this also called the table array uh, this is the value where your lookup value is located but you have to remember one thing while selecting the data the lookup value should always be in the first column. If you put your lookup value in the second or third column, then this is the very wrong way. So do it carefully. Number three is the column number. Uh, column number is given in the, the number likewise the one, two, three. Uh, if your data is located in the number five column, then you are gonna give the five number. If you are located in the six, then you are gonna give the six number. So likewise, you can give the numbers like one, two, three, four. In the number four, uh, this is an optional. Uh, you can either use the true or false or zero or one. True means uh, the approximate mass and the false means the exact mat. You can use uh, as per your requirement okay now let's put together all these things and let's separate all the information by comma the value of function will look like this okay now let's uh, go with the example Okay guys, you can see here, I have prepared some of these small data set uh, for the better understanding. Uh, this is the scorecard of the student and here you can see your serial number, ID number, student name and the subjects and these are all are the scores and this is the percentage. And in the this blue table, I have already applied the Vilico formula here. Uh, I'll show you how it works. Okay, here I'll show you how it works and and in this uh, orange column I haven't applied any Pilico formula here I'll show you how to apply okay okay first uh, let's see how how it works okay I have uh, created the table of ID number student name English math score and total score and the percentage so okay uh, I'll put the one of the ID number and I'll find the required data here. Okay, uh, I'll type uh, this 15 number, 15 serial number, A1248 ID number, A1248 ID number. Okay, you can see her the data has generated. Let's see, is it right or not? A1248. Okay, you can check also. Here, 8248. The student name is Robin. English score of English is 63. Here, this 63. Uh, the score of math is 71. This is also 71. The total score is 558. The total score is 558. And the percentage is 69.75. Okay. All the data are matching. Okay. Let's see by putting another ID number. Okay. 81244. 81244. Okay, you can see here the data of the required ID number is also generated. Okay, okay, that's why you can see here you can summarize the data in the very easy way. You don't have to go and source just finding the ID number A1244 and going and analyzing the each data so it takes too much time so below formula will save a lot of time by doing this okay okay let's see how to apply the below formula okay first let's apply the below in this student or subject column for that 
you can go here there, there are two types of options are available I'll show you the easy steps okay let's uh, select the cell where you want to apply the VLOOKUP go to function insert function here you can see here lots of functions are available and the VLOOKUP is available there if uh, you, you don't see VLOOKUP there just scroll down and you will find the VLOOKUP over there okay let's double click the VLOOKUP okay you can see here the function arguments are showing here to uh, lookup value table array column index number range lookup for the lookup value I want to compare the value with ID number and I want to find the value other required data with the ID number so lookup value is ID number so I'm selecting this data as a ID number and for the table array this is my table where I want to find the data so I'm selecting this always select your data starting with the lookup value I this is ID number is the lookup value that's why I'm selecting from here if you select like this serial number this will gonna take the wrong data so please select from your lookup data okay I have selected the table array and for the column index number student here uh, I want to find the student name that's why column index number is 2 uh, always count the column index number starting from the lookup value here you can see uh, the ID number is B column is the number 1 because ID number is lookup value that's why ID number is column index number 1 and the student column is the column index number 2 so I'm putting 2 here and range lookup for that uh, I want to find the exact value that's why I'm putting 0 is that the false statement okay now let's click ok likewise you can put other values here English mass total okay let's put for the English select the column go here double click VLOOKUP select the lookup value lookup value is ID number here table array table array this is the table array And for the column index number English here you can see English is 3 1 2 3 okay 3 look a value okay 0 okay now let's for math select the function look up value ID number here select the look up value table array column index number here for the math the column index number is 1 2 3 4 5 and 0 oh sorry for math select the function double click VLOOKUP select the lookup value select table array Now select column index number. Here column in index number of math is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 0. Okay, now for total. Select the cell. Select VLOOKUP. ID number is the lookup value here. Select the table. Column index number of total is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. I have already written over all the subjects for your the better understanding. If you feel any confusion, then you can just count the call of index number starting with the lookup value. And now let's put the lookup value for the percentage. We look up look up value that is ID number 
select the table array put column index number here the percentage column index number of percentage is 12 and range lookup is 0 for the exact match okay i have applied the vlookup formula here now let's check uh, is will it works or not okay let's put uh, this number let's check with a 12 40 a 12 40 okay you can see here the score is generated let's check is this right or not a table 14 okay the english score is 62 math score is 70 here you can see 70 is the score total score is 535 and the percentage is 0 0.66 okay 66.88 percent okay the all these functions is working properly okay you can apply a really function like this and you can save the lower supply okay that's it for today guys hope you'll enjoy this video if you face any errors or problems while doing this you can leave the comment below i'll try to solve your problem so see you in the next video Bye bye